Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how do we create virtual device using Android Studio. For that, guys, just launch the Android Studio as shown in screen. Click on More Actions. Click on Virtual Device Manager. So this one will give you the entire device manager screen. So click on the create virtual device here. So once you click on the create virtual device, so uh, it will ask you for the category which you want to install. Here we can install phone, tablet, wherever, desktop, TV, and automatic. So we can create phone for this uh, donation. And also you can create uh, whichever the device you want to install. Okay. Try to install the latest one, which has uh, latest features. So maybe uh, Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. If you want to install, you can install. Just click on 6 Pro. You can click on Next. Whenever you click on Next, um, it will tell you to install the latest one based on your device. So HXAM is not installed. Install the same. Everything is there. OK. So now we can install the recommended one. The API 34 is there, 33 is there, 32 is also there, 31 is also there. So if you want the Android Group version 12, you can install that. So let me click here. So let me click on download. So image system must be there to install. And so click on here. So now it will ask you to install this install. So click on accept. Right, go down and you can. This is a license document if you want. See, so now click on here. So click on accept. So now the Android SDK license and preview license is installed. Click on next. This will actually take a little bit of time. So, depending on your internet speed and connection, it will be very fast. So, let us wait till it downloads. So it will take a little bit of the time. So this got completed. Click on finish. Now you can see the device is there. There is no download option here. So now you just click on next. So this should be anywhere connected. So I'll keep the default settings. And here I can give Pixel 6 Pro. Okay. Now I'll click on finish. So virtual device should be connected. Now it will say creating Android virtual device. This will consume a lot of your RAM. So when you're testing it, it is highly recommended that you want to use it fully, right? So here you can see it has a, a play button. So it will launch the device. So these are the open this device the explorer. This is editing the device. This is three dots where you can click on more actions. Let me click on more actions. It will have all the details. Click on the view details, it will show you the what device is it, what are all the functionalities, etc. Now, what I'll do, I'll close this, I'll click on actually this will play button. So it will now actually launch the algae alerts. Okay. So ADB, if you want to do any actions, you can directly tell it to allow actions. That's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like share any video, please subscribe. Till then, guys, take care, have a great day. Bye-bye.